Hi, my name is David Brook Martin, and I'm a product manager for CA Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how BlazeMeter, a recent acquisition by CA and the performance engineering platform for DevOps, goes great with APM. For this video, I'm going to focus on a scenario where BlazeMeter is running clients from Taiwan. You can pick from locations around the world. Those Taiwanese clients are talking to an application that's hosted in the United States. APM is shown here because it's measuring the server-side latency. Now, with BlazeMeter running to calculate the total latency of the transactions, and APM on the server side, we can actually split apart the network latency from the server side latency and create pie charts like the ones that you see in this slide. In the upper left, about half the time is spent on the server side and half on the network. But in the lower right, it's a totally different scenario. Most of the time is spent on network latency. How are we going to do this? Easy. If you don't know JMeter, I'll give you a quick introduction and show you how to write a script to load an application. Once you have that script, to get a test going, all you have to do is drag and drop it into BlazeMeter. With a single click, we'll configure APM integration. Then we'll start the load test. That's the slowest part of this whole experiment. Finally, we'll, we'll extract data using APM SQL so that we have the server-side latencies. We'll take the CSV right out of BlazeMeter for the total latencies, and we'll create a report that has pie charts just like the ones you saw. Let's get started. This is JMeter. JMeter is an open source Apache project that's been around for more than 10 years. This is a great place to get started writing synthetic transactions if you've never done it before. You create a thread group, which in effect is the number of synthetic users that will run during your test. And then you create HTTP requests. Mine are all gets, but you could do posts or whatever else you need to do. The URL here shows this is the purchase transaction. If I go to steal, here's the steal transaction. And then I have some odd ones down here, the Bala transaction, uh, which viewers of my previous video may recognize. When we, we could run this with JMeter directly, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually save this as a thieves for blazemeter.jmx script. And then I'm gonna show you how we can load it into BlazeMeter for, for BlazeMeter to actually run from its Taiwanese clients. All right, at this point I've gone to blazemeter.com and logged in. You'll notice that it knows I'm D. Martin's workspace. And this is a listing of all the different tests I've run recently. You'll notice that many of them were from Taiwanese clients as I prepared for the, making this video. I can go to the test menu here and create a new test. You'll notice there's a bunch of open source testing options. I'm gonna click on JMeter. And this is the drag and drop I was telling you about. Check it out. This is so easy. I just pull my BlazeMeter script in and we're ready to go there. And I can go to CA Technologies APM, check the radio box to integrate. We're done there. There's some more options that you see on the right in terms of no number of synthetic users and such. I'm gonna take the duration of the test down to 10 minutes. And I'm gonna switch from Iowa to Taiwan. That's how I get my clients originating from abroad. I'm gonna go ahead and give this test a name and save it. Now, how do you run the test? It's easy. Look, the green button is ready to go. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click to launch the servers. This takes a, a minute. So I'm gonna pause the video here and return when it's finished. All right, the test is running. Now, this particular test will run for 10 minutes. That's what I set it to do. You can run it for longer if you like, and it's gonna populate the graphs in real time, just like you saw a moment ago. I'm gonna pause the video again so that we don't wait for a full 10 minutes. All right, our load test is done. And actually the results don't look too bad as the concurrency increased, the latency remained stable, Unfortunately, this application has close to five second average latency. We're gonna find out more about why that might be the case. I wish I could give you the whole tour of BlazeMeter, but today I'm gonna to draw your attention to the request stats. This is where you can zero in on a particular period of the load test to look at the re results during that part of the test. I'm gonna be a little bit like the cooking show here in that I've run a test before and I've 
downloaded the CSV by pressing this button and then combined it with APM CSV. I'll show you how that works next. So now I'm in the APM console looking at the results of the test underneath business segment for the agent that was handling the application. I called it the stolen art agent. You can actually see the name of the blaze meter test, DBM video test. That's what we typed in earlier. And underneath are all the test cases that we saw when we were looking at JMeter. Alejandro, Bala, Escape, Purchase, etc. So we're actually monitoring the server-side latency of all these different transactions. BlazeMeter has a total latency. APM has a server-side latency. That means we can calculate the difference and look at the network latency. Let's look at how we do that. Now, to grab the server-side latencies from APM, I'm going to go ahead and use APM SQL, which is a brand new integration interface that appeared with APM 10.5. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm taking the path of the business metrics and I'm putting a comma and then taking the average of all the response times for this particular time span, five minutes in the middle of the test. I mentioned earlier that like a cooking show, I've, I've prepped some of the test cases. In this case, the test was called Thieves featuring Alejandro and Bala. And if you look at the results set below, I'll go ahead and issue the query again to show you just how fast it comes back. This includes a comma and then the average response time of that particular transaction, the server side latency over the five minutes that we've actually captured the data for the SQL statement. What do we do next? Well, next you're pretty much here. These are the pie charts I was telling you about. You'll notice there's one pie chart for each of the different test cases. Alejandro and Bala, of course, are represented. And there's view, the one second transaction that has an enormous amount of latency, 93.7%. Look how slick these charts are. These are actually Google charts. Yeah, there is one extra step. I had to take the CSV from BlazeMeter and take the CSV from APM in order to create this chart. Let me show you how I did that. Being a Java nerd, I wrote a Java program to solve the problem. The Java program is very simple. It loads the two CSV files, the one from BlazeMeter and the one from APM. And then it uses some templates to write out HTML. I actually use Google Chart, like I mentioned before. Google Chart is very easy to use. If you go to developers.google.com, you can find sample documentation. And it gave me the flexibility to create this final product that has nice tooltips to it, that's easy to interpret. I was able to control the colors. So if you don't want to write your own Java program, I can understand. There's a lot of different reporting tools out there. You can use any one of them uh, to create this kind of a report. The source code for this, I will make available, however, so just drop me an email if you'd like access to the source, and then you'll be able to get up and running, auto-generating your own reports from your CSV data. To be totally clear, however many test cases you have in your JMeter, you'll see different pie charts for each of those different cases. And again, you'll be able to look at my templates and extend them if you want to use other features of Google Charts. All right, I couldn't resist showing you Excel as well. Excel is super easy. You don't have to write a single line of Java code. Just paste in the CSV results to make a table like you see here. Highlight your test case. I went to Charts, Other, Exploded Donut, and there we have it, Alejandro with the Taiwan response time and the server side response time set. So go ahead and use whichever tool you like. There you have it, BlazeMeter and APM, two products that are good on their own, but even better together. You already have easy two-way integration with the technology that's on the shelf today. If you'd like some help getting rolling, just drop me a line, david.b.martin at ca.com. Thanks for listening to this video.